this needs to be talked about. I don't know what the shade is because I've used it so many times it wore off. What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Manders and this is my channel. We talk about a lot of things here, mostly makeup and skincare, nail polish. We have the occasional unboxing and I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in any of those things, please stick around, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This doesn't stay on all day, but I don't really care. We are doing my monthly favorites. I am horrible at remembering to film these. So this has been sitting here for a while and we're just going to get right into it. It might be long, it might be short. I'm not sure. We will just have to wait and see. The first item I do want to talk about today is this one. This hard candy blurring and pore refining loose finishing powder. This is so good. Like, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it the last three favorites videos I've had. It's the only finishing powder I ever want to use anymore. It just makes my skin look way better. I'm wearing it today because I use it almost every single day. It is just a really nice powder, very affordable as well. I'm pretty sure I picked this up for less than $7 at Walmart. I need to do a full face of hard candy. Please let me know your recommendations in the comments below because I really do want to explore some more stuff. Okay, I can't tell you which one I like, so we're gonna talk about all of them. I'm obsessed with these. These glosses from Essence, these wet, shine, these wet look, shine, 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 wet lip glosses are so good. I'm wearing this one right now. I don't know what the shade is because I've used it so many times, it wore off. They're just so nice. They were very affordable. They're very comfortable on the lips. I do enjoy wearing these. They're really the only ones I ever reach for anymore. So sorry to all of my other lip glosses because these ones are the winners. I can't get enough of these. I have, I have eight. I don't know why I have eight. I only ever wear like one, two. I have wore all of them. They are nice. These three are my favorites for sure. Yeah, those ones are winning. So good. Okay. Oh, and a lipstick. A lipstick I have been enjoying. Actually, I really liked this this month. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Interview Lipstick. This, I've had this for a while. I want to show it a little bit of love. That's where it is right now. I know I can use more this more often, so I'm probably gonna just keep it in for the month. It, is a really easy lipstick to wear. It wears off naturally throughout the day. It doesn't stay on all day, but I don't really care. Okay, This is the first liquid blush I've ever used before. This is the YC Collection blush in the shade Fiesta. This came in an Ipsy and it is really freaking nice, guys. Like really nice. I haven't filmed with it, but I've used it a couple times. It is just so pink and pretty and it just, it blends out very easily. This is a lot, I put a lot on. I usually use a sponge, but it's just, it's really nice. I am going to continue using this. I don't know what it retails for. It is a full size product. I love when that happens in Ipsy. It's just been a really big win for me. So I'm definitely very happy that I have this liquid blush. I'm gonna talk about this. I don't know if it's a favorite, but it's the only one I've used all month. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's oil-free. It's the pore minimizing one. I'm so close to being done, but why is there, why do these last forever? It is doing the trick though, so I will talk about it. I like it. I'm not gonna purchase a full size, but I like this better than the Benefit one. I just, why can't it, why won't it end? Why are little teeny tiny primers, why do they have so much, why do they go for so long? Why? Why? It's very effective. I like it. I'm not gonna repurchase it when I'm done, but I still wanted to talk about it. I also wanna talk about this. This CC whatever cream, CC squared trick and treat cream. This is so freaking good. This is by Hey Honey. This needs to be talked about. I'm actually filming a video currently about and doing a full day wear test on this. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's pretty freaking nice. It wears really well through the day. It, this is like, I've had, I've been working on this for a while. There's still so much in there. A little bit goes a long way. I might need a full size just cause this is so good. So it's got, it's a color correcting formula with treating benefits. This also came in an Ipsy. I love it. 
so much. This is no surprise. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow base. I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base from Essence. I think it's been discontinued, but I still love it anyways. It, I used it today. It's amazing. I wish I could find you forever because it's so good. It's so good. My eyeshadow never creases when I use this. It always looks good. This Velour Art Eyeshadow from AOA Studio. This is from Shop Nassay. I used this a couple times and it is just so stinking pretty. Look at that, it is so nice. I love this eyeshadow. It is just dark and rich and it is a cream to powder formula. So it is very buttery feeling, super soft. I absolutely cannot get enough of that. I've also pretty much only been using this one brow pencil. I really do want to finish it, but I have a long way to go. This is the Shop Miss A Slim Brow Pencil. Used it today. It comes with a spoolie on one end. This only cost me a dollar. It's a very effective product for what I paid. It's very good, highly recommend it. If you haven't checked out Shop Miss A, do it. Just do it. You won't be, you won't be disappointed. Or no, you might be disappointed. Not everything's great. But if you buy almost anything from AOA Studio, then you're good because they make friggin' bomb products. This bamboo bronzer from Ciate London is, I've loved this so much. It is so soft. It's so easy to wear. It does give a little bit of a bronze glow. I enjoyed using this. It comes with a mirror. The packaging's kind of cheap, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I lied. I have another essence gloss, so I actually have nine of these. Found another one. And last but definitely not least, I need to talk about this palette from Natasha Denona. I used this for the first time last month and I loved it so much. I did film a video, I'll leave it linked somewhere. It's so pretty, it's so neutral, it's so easy to use, and it is an absolute favorite product. I can't tell you how many times I've sat down to like do my makeup and I'm like, oh, I wanna use this one again, and I'm like, no. No, you have to use other stuff. You need to film that one is definitely see. going back into this month's drawer though, because I love it that much. All right, and that, oh, one more product. This truffle blush, vanilla cream truffle blush from BH Cosmetics. It smells so good. It smells so nice. It's a four pan blush. It comes with a mirror. It's fantastic. I love it. I am so glad I bought this. I am actually wearing that today as well. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Please let me know if you like any of these products. This video is a little bit shorter than some of my favorites, but I just wanted to sit down and film this as quickly as I could so that I could share with you guys. Thank you all so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.